everybody and welcome back to a long-awaited commission time video. You might be wondering why my arm is slightly up here, guys. It's because I'm basically using it to rest it on a light. Um, because uh, it's a little bit dim in here today and I've actually got a new awesome light up there. It's as bright as the sun. It's a little bit too bright and it's casting too much of a shadow. Um, so yeah, so I might have to try and sort that out, make that a little bit better, maybe re-angle it or something, I don't know. But anyway guys, so we're going to be doing a commission time episode. Now, um, I kind of stopped commissions for a long, long while, um, mainly because of the fact that I've got a full-time job now, uh, and this isn't really a commission for profit, so to speak. Uh, basically, uh, one of my friends uh, wanted me to build him a big, nasty Nurgle Gribbly. Uh, I was in the mood to build one, and, I was a and he's a pro painter pro painter. He's a very, very good painter. Uh, I know we don't like using that term on this channel in the wargaming community. So let's just say he um, has a small business called the, the Geekery and he does um, paint jobs and stuff like that for people and he's very, very good at it and uh, I like his work. So I decided, well, I'll tell you what, I'll make you a big gribbly if you paint some stuff for me that I've horribly, horribly butchered and made a horrible mess of. Um, so anyway, I decided to come out with this big Nurgle Gribbly right here. Um, the client wanted it to look mm, very organic and not very futuristic as it's going to be used, I believe, with Age of Sigmar or something. I'm not sure. It's something fantasy related. Um, but we've got that going on here. So if I just re-angle that light and bring it further in. Um, basically, I used a different technique on this to create this uh, Nurgle beast. Normally, I use a wire armature, but it's a real pain to get the kind of shape that I wanted, and I did want a kind of blobby design. So what I actually used, and you can see a little bit inside there, you can see a little bit of a silver kind of um, twinkle there. That is because I used tin foil as the armature for this. I basically got a big lump of tin foil, moulded it into the right kind of shape I want, because obviously it gives me obviously infinite working time with it. Then I cut into it to make this mouth shape, and then I just went hell for leather and put the milliput over it, baked that in the oven, and then I just went in with the green stuff and just went nuts on it. Um, one of the things that I like about this was the uh, the mouth. The mouth was um, a really cool little feature to do, uh, and it really just adds a lot of character to the model. And uh, you'll notice that he doesn't actually have a face, so to speak. And that's because his mouth is down here in his belly. Uh, but I opted for a mixture of the different types of teeth. So we got some of the, like spirally horns and some of like just like the pointed uh, fang type things. Uh, moving around uh, on, on to, on to the underneath kind of undercarriage area, I did a kind of like, um, you know, made it look like it was like skin sloughing off. We've got lots of intestines and stuff just hanging down out of big, uh, deep crevices in the actual. Um, uh, uh, belly of him. Uh, the crab legs, you've got some barnacle type things, they were a last minute addition, uh, just because the legs looked a little bit bare. Um, he's got lots of branches and stuff uh, actually sticking out of him, because again, I wanted to go for the whole um, fantasy thing of it. And you did have a horn here, and it didn't look right no matter which way I put the horn, no matter how big I put the horn, so in the end I opted for these dryad um, tree branches. Um, this arm here was a bit of a challenge as well, mainly because I didn't know what I wanted to do. Originally we were going to go with an axe type formation, and then we're going to have like a big massive horn sticking out, then we're going to have like a big bony blade. In the end I opted for these kind of like insect legs from the Plague Drone uh, kit, and then they're a bit of a Tyranid Scything Talon to make the under, um, under snippy uh, bit of the claw. Uh, as for texturing, uh, I did uh, lots of kind of like sinewy uh, kind of uh, wraps and stuff on this. Uh, and I added some little details, some little skulls and stuff, and got some more like, intestinal tubules coming out. Um, more branches and stuff, and we got some more lovely detailing in here, some lovely little hives, some general nurgliness. Uh, going onward, we have the, the back section. Now, on my big Nurgle beast, I am a huge, I'm very, well, I'm very, very fond of doing back sections that are kind of ripped open like this. Now, I was going to put a spine in, but basically the, the area where I prodded it all in with um, just the end of a pen actually turned out really, really cool, and hopefully um, the, the painter that this is going to is going to paint that up really, really nice and juicy. Uh, we've got a bit of a arachnid kind of um, uh, butt uh, lower abdomen type thing going on here as well, just to balance it out a little bit. Uh, and then moving around, we've got some delicious nurgly pustules moving on, and we've got some lovely great big tumours. Now, I actually, uh, you, these were made by recycling uh, bits of the legs here, where I had to shorten them down when I attached them to the body, um, so that was quite good to recycle that. And then underneath the arm again, we've got some more intestinal goodness hanging out here. 
One of the things that I really did like about this was this arm here. Now, it turned out very, very well. Um, I think, anyway, I don't normally do hands. I don't normally do arms and things like that very well. And this just turned out really, really cool. I like it a lot. And then we did some, like, fingernails and stuff on there. Um, the head was a little bit interesting to do because we kind of had this idea that we wanted... Um, kind of like this almost like a um a gorget made of horns like going round this was going to be like a mouth and then in the middle of it there was just going to be a singular eye sticking up but it didn't really have much character to the miniature so i opted to go for a different design where i kind of sculpted a kind of like a horrible like rotten face and we've got like two eyes in there and like a little bit of a well, what was once a nose uh, and it just added a whole load more character to the actual model itself uh, in truth guys, I had a massive load of fun uh, in uh, making this um, and it was just really nice to get back to some green stuff and back to some sculpture work uh, after a long, long absence. Um, I'm, again, I'm still probably not going to do many commissions in the future just again because I don't have the actual time. Um, but, you know, one-offs might occur every now and again. Uh, I'm wondering whether or not to do some uh, beauty shots of this, actually. Um, hmm, shall I do some beauty shots to end the video? Yeah, why not? We'll do some beauty shots to end the video. Um, so, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching, and um, I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, favourite, and subscribe. Don't forget to share this video, uh, as it helps the channel grow, and it's how, um, the, the, obviously, we expand as a channel. Um, but anyway, guys, time for the beauty shots. See you now, and goodbye.